I know what Fox is from, but, you know, being in uh, little old England, Fox doesn't mean very much to me. Right. Actually, Fox does mean a lot to me. Because there's foxes in next door's garden or something over there, and you can hear them, and they make an awful noise, and they're irritating, and they come over the fence, they go over my shed, they drive Pippa crazy. Frankly, foxes are annoying. And I'll tell you what, one of them is massive. There's one fox that comes over that shed. It's the size of pups. I'm not exaggerating. This thing is huge. And to say that about a fox, the size of pups. Seriously. I don't think I'd want to tussle with it, to be honest. I'm pa passionately puppy raging. Right, I've skipped the uh, tutorial. I've skipped the tutorial because I've already done it, and frankly, it's boring. So we're just going to go straight in uh, and play this. So the first expedition, it, these are just the basic ones. We'll get these done. Um, first expedition is to use the metal. You need to scout with the metal detector, basically. And for that, we will be paid even more money if we don't recover the truck more than twice. So we'll do that. So we'll pick a scout vehicle. Now, I like this one because I think it looks like a Land Rover. So we're going to use the Landy. And we'll go with the... We'll put the old metal detector on the top there. We will, of course, spray it. Can't put any stickers on it yet. Come on, we've got more colours than that. Right, let's see. Bit of blue, bit of green. There's like literally no green on this map at all, apart from the odd cacti. But we... Mm, let's go... Blue. It's stripey blue, there you go. I won't bother buying any other stuff, I don't think we need it. Um, we could stick... We could stick an anchor in the back just in case. I doubt we're going to tip over unless we suck. But we'll see. Right, we've got the metal detector. Let's do it. We're not going to deploy here. We're going to deploy here. See, I like that paint scheme. If it just had the black bits, the zebra stuff, that'd be great. Right, the indicators on the metal detector turn white. It means that there are objects to search within a radius of 200 meters. A metal detector gives you information about the location and range of objects. Yeah, it doesn't do a very good job, but yeah. Anyway, so we're basically, we go, give me the metal detector. Of course, the metal detector completely ignores all of this metal here and instead focuses on a few things. So we can see there's something over there. I find this detector misleading because that icon there makes you think, oh, it's it's just here, isn't it? It's not. It's it's totally not. It's way over there somewhere. And the same with those, they're way over there. It's a lie. Um, pups. It might be useful to get a link to my first look video and put it, put a command on it because people are going, what's this? This looks like SnowRunner. What's it about? What do you do? We can just link them to the video and that's probably going to save us a lot of effort over the weekend, I think, <laughs> thinking about it because I'm not going to keep explaining myself. <laughs> I've done it copiously in the video. Right, find the resources. So there's one over here. One over here. We'll do this one first. Actually. We'll go over there. Uh, Sterling, thank you for 34 months. Uh, Matthew, I'm doing well. Thank you for nine months. Happy Twitch, baby. Well, at least they uh, chose the name of this and dropped the word snow out of it, so they're not compelled to put snow in anymore. 
Not that I let that bother him before, but. Uh, new task, beautiful view. Near the camp planet is a picturesque panorama. Let's explore together. Follow. <laughs> Wants us to go all the way up there. Okay. Uh, Frosty Jack, thank you for 86 months. Right. How do we get over there? That's the question. Don't think we're going that way. Even with a run up, I don't think that would end well. Can we go that way? Is the music copyright free? I've turned the music off, Beaker, believe it or not. But. As with SnowRunner, that does not stop the radios from playing. I don't know if we can get up that way. Let's have a go. No, I don't think we're going that way. I think that's too steep. Okay, that's uh, taking damage. That's not good. I haven't got any kind of air intake mod on this yet, which is annoying. mission while we're here let's go that way where's the um, there's a few up there there's one up there as well let's see if I can get that one Uh, Max, thank you for 38 months. It's a metal detector. I plug like the answer. That's what metal detectors look like. Just they, they put RGB LEDs in them these days. Everything sells better if you put RGB in it. You should know that. And it's true with metal detectors. In fact, the next kettle I buy is going to have a RGB LED in it, I reckon. Right, let's deploy... Yes, yes, yes. The drone. Okay, looks like we can go that way, around there, and hopefully we can get up that way. Oh, there's something over here as well. Let's do that. <clears throat> well, my kettle has a blue light on it, but it's not RGB. It's just the B. Why is there a burnt-out husk of a 1920s car in the corner? Uh, High-range gearbox for the Tuz. I think we have one of those. Gifted. A free one of those. See if I can fix any of this engine damage we've taken. Okay, that's all our repair points used. 
Thanks, Pops. Jake, thank for H2 months. Uh, Giorgio, thank you for 15. Ben GT, 81 months. Thank you very much. Very kind. D22, thank you for 90 months. Hello from Miami. I'll tell you what, I bet the weather is a lot nicer in Miami than it is here. Oh, there you go. We can get around that way. Whoop. Imagine driving over that IRL, you'd be like, ah, I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> 30 Celsius. It's a little bit too warm, but I think I'd probably take it. Let's see what we can see. Mountain. was just where we um, came from. There's an airdrop. Foothills. Territory reconnaissance. That's everything we can see. Is it more of a solo game or MP? I summarised in my video, D22, if you'd like to watch. We could recover, but we've only got two as a limit if we want an extra thousand dollars. So I'd rather just drive it unless we need to recover. Ouch. I need to get the bull bar in the front of this thing. It's got no protection at the front. I really wish you could get some kind of engine protector as well. That would be really handy. Right, can we get out though from this direction? I don't think we can. Uh, looks a bit too steep that way. I think you meant to go perhaps like that. Maybe that way. Something along those lines. Uh, <clears throat> you you can change vehicle without recovering, as long as you brought the vehicle in the first place. Yeah, and I I only brought. What the heck? What's this impassable piece of grass here? What's this? Wow. Um, yeah, I didn't bring many with me. I only brought this one. Oh, the sound is rubbish, Ryan. Honestly, the, the engine audio... I think I mentioned it in the video. The engine audio just... 
It's like a bunch of WAV files just randomly being picked. It doesn't follow what the vehicle's doing. It's very rudimentary is the word I think I'd use. Uh, thank you, Quantum. Yeah, look at this. What the heck? Man? Like, how can... <laughs> how can that stuff be so strong? Let's try going this way if we can. Make no sense, Buzz. Like, none at all. Like, I'm diff locked all wheel drive and I can't get out of the grass. It's stupid. I've selected my winch point, thank you. Winch. Thank you. Genuinely ridiculous. Well, the game is released now, Arrakis, it released last night to um, people who paid for the something edition. Right, we know we can't get up there because there's grass in the way, which is as good as a brick wall. So can we go perhaps that way? Look at that very much. That looks like a trap to me. <laughs> Reckon you'd get over that bit? I think the front end will just drop straight into that. I can't see it's coming out of there. That's annoying because that would be a great way up there. You have to go all the way around. I'm going to try, and if I can't get over, I'll recover. The alternative is a long drive. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Mayday. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you reckon an anchor will get us out of this? <laughs> hey, we did it for science. There we go. Unfortunately, that's both anchors used now. You can place anchors, yes. Watch my video, it will explain all the gadgets.
$1,600. Let's go. Okay. There's a gold mining task that way that we could look at. Hmm. At this point, that I kind of wish I'd have brought more than one vehicle. Although... Actually, we don't need to do that. We could do that on another expedition. What we could do... Let's get rid of that. We could just do this, and then... That'll complete this expedition, and then on the next one we can bring in more vehicles. Let's do it that way. Oh, and by the way, you can't put your lights on with the controller anymore. You have to press the L key. There's literally no button mapping for it. Same with the horn. You can't sound your horn, you have to press G. Hey, Kimmy. I don't play third-person shooters as a rule, Andy lad. I, I prefer first-person. This is why I never played Gears of War. But I've been playing Ready or Not a bit. That's hilarious. Are we going the right way? Might be better going that way. Alpha Lights is what it is, Ken. Alpha Lights. Suddenly, the sun came up quickly. Uh, the little metal detector's gone white, but it's not worth scanning. We know what the answer is. here for again. <laughs> Find items. Oh, that's the, uh, that one. Yeah, Andy, got it a bit cheaper. Uh, gas station. We'll have that fuel. That's not a lot of resources, though. Blimey. Towers. That's true. But you don't have binoculars and a drone. What the? I'm just taking random tire damage. <laughs> Way! Expedition complete. So we got a bonus type, uh, $1,000. Uh, oh, the anchor was useful five times, not three, twice. Um, ah, the jack thing is only useful twice. We've got some more stuff. We'll continue because there's stuff here I want to get. Okay, another ground anchor. Only useful once, though. Okay. Oh, random damage, yeah, you'll feel right at home. <laughs> right then, we've done that one. So the next one is this one, uh, which requires an off-road vehicle into watery terrain. We need a jack screw and an anchor. So, let's see, off-road. Could go with the Tuz, we have a new upgrade on that. Go with... 
step. Probably a bit overkill. I think the Toz is probably best. We'll bring the Scout in again anyway. Maybe don't need the metal detector for this one. Twelve hundred dollars. Yikes. Hopefully the mod soon. A mod that changes the audio on this engine. <laughs> That's what I want. Do we need to bring this with us? That's the question. Kind of a roof rack. Roof rack gives us six slots. We can put stuff on there. Spotlight mount. Hmm. I don't know. I think I might leave the metal detector on for now. Just in case. What I might do, though, is... What engine have we got? We're a much better engine. Seven grand, though. Offers significant strength and performance at the cost of poor responsiveness and fuel efficiency. Offers impressive power output while sacrificing strength and fuel efficiency. Look at the fuel consumption on that. Gearbox. Off-road gearbox. Optimised for the harshest road conditions. Manual mode for lower gears. So that's useful. Five grand though. What about the lift kit? That lift kit not only raises the suspension, it also puts the wheelbase out, which has got to be a good thing. Five grand. Grab that. Sell that. Tires. Let's bag ourselves some 37 inch off roads. So, at the moment, we've got all terrain, which are good, good, and average. If we got these, would be average, good, average, which is worse, technically speaking, but better off road. And that's good, good, excellent for those 12 grand tyres. Can't afford them, yeah? The moment we've got the stock winch, we can afford the extended winch. Which is not a bad thing to have. But I think we'll live without it for now. Snorkel would be good. How about a high-mounted snorkel? Extended, low... So that's better than what we have. That one is a good compromise. It's, that one's only a bit higher. And if you're on a budget, I would suggest that's probably enough. We'll grab that. Now on the front, we can put this thing, which is the armoured bull bar bumper. But if we get this one, it also comes with a slot. And in the slot, we can put something. So if we grab that, and then we can fill it with either spare parts or fuel. Now, I'm thinking spare parts, because we keep taking damage. So, we'll put some extra tools up front there. Rather than the fuel. I don't think on this map we have, really have a massive fuel problem. And I think we'll grab that. And then we'll take the Tuz. Let's have a look at the Tuz. So we need to take... Actually, tell what, did I put anything in the back of that? Yeah. Should take an anchor. Although, I think there's an anchor in the main base. I don't know if it will spawn there. We need to do a, a test here. I'm going to go in with nothing and see if there's still something at the main base. But with this one, we need to get... That and that. Uh, McZlick, thank you for 98, almost 100. So there are two things we need to take. The question is, 29 grand. Do we want to customise the vehicle in some way? We have the new gearbox, the fine tune, sorry, the, the high range. Stock, high ranged. 
Increased gear ca uh, counts, top speed, and fuel efficiency, expense of lower strength. Love that. Let's sell the stock. Not a lot of options. We've currently got the off road. Should be, we'll be fine for now. Leave the winch. I can't even see where that snorkel is. I think it's just the thing on the bonnet there that changes. See it? Like this bit. That's the high mount. That's the low mount. And we have nothing at the moment. So that would give us the ability to go fairly deep in water for a thousand. I think that's worth getting. Just in case we go muddy. Um, front. Oh, look at that. So that one comes with a ability to carry a spare wheel. That is just protective. I like that. It even protects the engine. Not the axle, but the engine. Uh, have a look at the video, Unicorn. Let's grab that. Uh, let's see what other colours we've got. There's puppy colour. Have to be that one. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Um, we could spawn the scout there, but spawn that over here. Right, so the answer is, in the base, there's no modules. If you overturn, open the inventory and use the jack screw. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that by a lot. H66. Really sad. Open the interface and pick the jack screw. It's so dumb. The game says, now would be a convenient point to tell him about the anchor. Anchor? I don't need no anchor. Expedition complete, there you go. <laughs> um, I'm going to continue. We'll park up here. And because we've got, we can go down there and get that done, or we can go up here and try and get that, whatever that is. We have gold mining. Let's try that. I reckon we can get over there that way somehow. Might as well do a bit more while we're here. The, uh, the high suspension on this thing. Way. 
Uh, that might be a bit steep. It looks okay on the map. Oh, no, I think we're... That river looks too deep. Even with the snorkel we have. Uh, for science, let's go. does look like it's moving quite quickly. Oh, no. That's a lot of red. Oh, there is a crossing point back there as it happens. Maybe we can get along the coast. Nikolai, thank you for 33 months. This is the game MP. I think there is, or will be, a co-op version. That doesn't look very drivable. But I brought my swimming trunks, so let's have a go. Discovered a new Ford. It's a Fiesta. Stage complete. Find traces of gold mining. All the way over there. If only we had a vehicle over there. Oh, wait! How do we get to this? Is that... It? No? What's that one? Altar. We could head back this way and we'll get that one with the other vehicle. pressure down a little bit. Honestly, the engine audio it just sounds like a bag of nails. <laughs> it's like they took some car audio, then they took some truck audio from an engine, mixed them together, then they blended in somebody shaking a bag of nails now and again, and then somebody just crunching through a gearbox, you know, as if they've not dropped the clutch properly. And then they blended all that together, and that's basically the truck audio. <laughs> uh, how do we get up there? Do you get up there? Oh, maybe that way. Like, visually the game's stunning, but I feel like the audio engineer needs to be, um... ...spoken to. <laughs> Hey, 
Maybe it's like what they do in Hollywood, where they, they spend all the budget on CGI. Yeah, we blew all the budget on the uh, on the graphics, I'm afraid, Squirrel. Didn't have much less for the audio engineer, so we found this guy in the co-op and he said he could do us some samples. Tank Tiger, thank you for 47 months. I do love the way the uh, the tyres go over these rocks, they're going to soak up at the lowered pressure. Why does it remind me of um, Pong? <laughs> Beep. Boop. Beep. Boop. <laughs> uh, right, am I supposed to get it in the green thing or in the bracket or in the green and the bracket? Like, unsure what the objective is here. Let's do that. Okay, some candles. And there's some dirt. The cactus seems to be pointing somewhere. Maybe a treasure is hidden. It's time to explore and uncover the secrets it may hold. Alrighty then. Out of curiosity, which cactus are we talking about? <laughs> Okay, so what does it want us to do next? Visit the area. Right, so you want me to go back over there. <sighs> okay then. The cactus seems to be pointing somewhere. Like all cactuses, Cacti are pointing somewhere. They have arms. Like, they're literally upright and they have like an arm. Like that. Which is pointing somewhere. What's that got to do with anything? sense if it had said oh the there's some rune stones or these bones have been laid out in the shape of a giant arrow it seems to be pointing somewhere like that would have been more palatable than a random cactus just pointing just pre-order thank you no worries big game thank you for using the code and stuff I used to play BeamNG uh, many years ago. It's a great physics engine. It's just um, probably BeamNG. It's just got incredible crash physics, but uh, unless you just download like scripted mod things, it's not a huge amount to do. It's a weird game. It's like, it's like a big sandbox. I hope I'm going the right way, by the way. I have no clue. I'm just going up. <laughs> You have discovered a new climb. It's very good late with lots of content. They all say that. Like, I'm not being funny, but everybody says that. Uh, okay. 
Are we stuck on an axle? Yes, we are. Yeah, there's more than one edition of the game, big gamer. Depends how much money you want to splash. Come on. I feel like this thing needs a bit more power. It needs an engine upgrade. <laughs> No chance Necker runs. Uh, sick dog, thank you for almost two years. Right, what's this? Uh, a flight recorder. A recording device placed in an aircraft for the purpose of facilitating the investigation of aviation accidents and incidents, otherwise known as a black box. Let's grab that. Where does that need to go? Back to base, I think. Deliver the cargo. Alright, we can do that. Before I commit to this, are we going the right way? Yes. That way. And Black Yard, so thank you for giving us up to Starship Pound. Andy, I think the physics are more or less the same. I think it's the same for Havoc physics engine, so I don't think you're going to see any difference in that regard, apart from the ability to lower tyre pressures so that you can get more friction and pull and blocks and things like that. Glad I bought that engine guard. I can understand transmission damage, but not engine damage. Right, flight recorder, deliver 2400. So, are we saying that the up on the hill there was like a load of Pagan-esque dinosaur bones and cacti pointing towards a flight recorder. I am curious about that. Because which came first, do we think? The flight recorder or the carefully laid out dinosaur bones and cacti? I guess the flight recorder had to come first because the cacti and the bones were pointing towards the flight recorder. Which is kind of interesting, because you would expect those bones to be hundreds of years old, but apparently not. That altar was pointing towards a flight recorder. Maybe it was... Maybe it was like a vision. Maybe, yeah, exactly, maybe aliens laid out the bones hundreds of years ago, pointed towards a spot where they knew something would crash land there of importance. Yeah.
Not really, Liam, though. I don't do I don't do guides on how to stream at all, if I'm honest. Right, I think what we can do is switch to the the Costco. Actually, am I in the right position, by the way? My overlay is okay. I suppose that one's slightly off. I'm not overlaying anything, am I? Yeah, okay. Um, let's see, there was a... Was there a mission over here or something? No, not that. Oh god, that's far away. Where is that? That's back at base. I should probably go there in the other vehicle. Uh, yeah, that was it. I've got to go there for this one. Let's go that way. It's saying it wants me to scan. Something... that must be pointing to that thing, surely. I think this vehicle has some of the worst audio, actually. Because it sounds like two or three different vehicles rolled into one. What kind of missions in terms Exploration missions. If you, if you can spare ten minutes in terms my, um... My video on it yesterday will give you a decent overview of the game. Whoop. discovered a new climb. I don't quite understand why you get paid money for going down a slope. Now I get the feeling I've come the wrong way. I might be able to get away with it. to stay away from the grass. We know what happens in the grass. Gold mining. Thank you for your help. Now it's clear that the gold has been mined here for many centuries. Your contribution is as valuable as gold and your help lights our story. Have a chunk of cash. All right, we'll have a chunk of cash. Now, hang on. I think we need to switch back to this guy and then do that one. Somehow. I think we worked out we can get through maybe that way. That does not look promising. Maybe that way. I think the scout might be better for this, but I'd have to recover it. Yeah, I mean... The thing is about fuel, 
it, it's a bit weird how it works. So you have to go here. And then we've basically got 100 litres left in our base module. So we can then transfer it over. Like that. We've got 50 spare parts on board. So we could repair the engine with the onboard stuff. That leaves us with 42 and no fuel in that. So then we should be able to transfer fuel in there if we want to. So we can nick a bit of spare fuel and that's it. That's all we've got. Designed for all the consoles that are releasing them, that's, that's what it is. Uh, Dead Angel, thank you for eight months. Danish dead, thank for 26 months. Happy New Year. <laughs> we go under this and then maybe try and get up that way. We might be able to go up this side. Or oh, maybe not. Like I say, this engine is too weak. It just, this truck just needs a bit more grunt in it. Did I track that? It's empty, keep looking. Uh, okay. I guess we push around this way. plateau or is it on the other side of it? There is a radar that you can get big gamer but it's locked. Um, I don't know what the requirements are but you can get a radar so you can go scanning later. Uh, Glenn, thank you for 101, 101 months. Thank you Glenn.
Angry fat man, thank you for 34. Hang on, let's drop the pressure. things. go this way because this goes up. No flight zone. Have a drone, but you can't use it. Okay. Let's go this way then. Is it a no flight zone? That's the question. Hey, it's empty. Oh, go away. <laughs> Can we go this way? Let's push on. It's better with the last one. <laughs> uh oh. Oof. That nearly went wrong. Uh, good morning, stock man. one's intense. What the... <laughs> Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all, does it? Literally the same width as the axle. Gamma, thanks for two months. Okay. Ancient remains, thank you for your support in finding dinosaurs. Your interest is important. Together we'll reveal the secrets of ancient times and the history of our planet. This is sponsored by Discovery. <laughs> Uh, 
There's a, a couple of tasks over here. Explore with the drone. Although, bizarrely, you have to do the last one first. Could just recover. Tion. Actually, maybe the scout would be better for that. Oh my god, this. It's going to take me time to adjust. I can't recover that vi- I have to get in that vehicle. And then I have to go to the outpost of one. And then I have to tell it to recover the one that I'm into that. Yeah, it's. I, I, if you've never played SnowRunner, perhaps it would make sense, but when you've played SnowRunner a lot, the way that you recover vehicles takes some adjustment. See you later, Cool Tiger. Turn if you want it. <laughs> Why am I tracking this? Start tracking. Surely you don't have to go to the last one first. God. Let me try it. The heck is that? Oh, it's ticked it. Fine. Hang on. Let's see what was in... Where was that gone? There it is. I didn't want to turn anyway. Yeah, the drone sound is just weird, but then the audio of most vehicles is weird. Territory reconnaissance. Uh, discover the secrets of the canyon from above by sending a drone. I'm literally doing this. <laughs> Can we get down there? sure I like the look of that, if I'm honest. It looks a bit sketch. I mean, would you? Would you do this? Oh dear. That's not good. 
That's not good. That's not great, is it? That's not great at all. Now, normally, that would give us a golden opportunity to show you how the, the jack works, but I didn't bring one. Or at least it did, but not on this vehicle. And I really wish I had. <laughs> Wait, what? How does that start? Old habits die hard. If I want to attach the winch, I have to go left on the D-pad. Then I have to choose there. Then I have to... Select the one I want to use. And then attach it. Got the skills to pay the bills. <laughs> a drone from here. It's got a hard ceiling of 30. Like, you literally can't go higher than 30. Which doesn't seem very high for a drone. Exactly, you're supposed to get up there. <laughs> yeah. In all seriousness, like, can you get from the other side, maybe? Does it count if you just fly the drone into it? Apparently it does. Amazing views, $500. I'm pressing A, but nothing's happening. left get to the point they say that lake located near the camp cannot be crossed by truck go there and check it out just don't forget to take the accompanying tool with you which must mean wait what confused by this. I know what it was doing, D22. But it put a pop-up thing on the screen, so my input should go to that, not to the vehicle. That didn't make any sense. Oh, yeah. Nearly 15 grand. Look at that. Get in. Right, what else have we got? Heavy shipping. Uh, height differences. Off-road vehicle. This is a heavy truck. You'll need a powerful vehicle to pull it out. Okay. I think we'll get the big boy out here. Let's see, there's a there's a step 310E which has A minus power, and there's a step 310SE which has A power. 
So that presumably has a bit more because... No, it's not because that's carrying anything. Don't know. Just has better power to wait. We could probably spend some money and upgrade it. Uh, Club Villain, thank you for 35 months. A load star. This. A plus power to weight ratio. Oh, maybe. Could try it. It's like both. Inventory. Now, we may need a jack screw. In case we flip over. Can we put a better engine in there? Whoa. 3,000. Let's go. And we get a refund on that, so it only costs us two. Gearbox. We've got a stock or a fine tune. A manual mode for lower gears. That really does sound like it's worth it. Seven grand, though. It does have mud support, yeah. Seven grand. Let's have a look what else we can get. Stock kit. We can't get the lift kit. Ground clearance could be a problem. Tires. I think he said it's in a swamp, which means mud. That would do average. Average, good, average. Good, good, average. So they're actually technically better. For 3k. And then we'll refund them. Stock winch. We do want a strong winch if we're going to have to pull something. Extended might be useful. Uh, twin snorkels. We are in a swamp. Let's get it. What else have we got? Blimey. Extended roll cage. Nice. Look at that. It's wicked. Window guards. <laughs> Heavy window guards. Reinforced fenders. Blimey. There's some serious mud flaps. Heavy fenders. Love it. Provides decent crash protection. We've spent quite a bit. Let's not spend too much. Uh, a rear mounted rack. That has three slots in it. Look at that. That has a slot for a wheel and two other slots. That's pretty neat. Metal detector. Get your searchlight there. Extended visor. And a sun visor. And then lots of boring rims. Wait, is there nothing? Oh, they're all locked. All the slot ones are locked. Look, you have to do some missions to get these. Mad Max fenders. It's a pity we don't have a lift kit. That would have been great. Okay. Let's try it with that. The other truck we've got is this one. If we have to use this one, we'll grab a jack. Pretty strong engine there. Five gram for that, sell that. High range gearbox. Don't think we need that. It does have a lift kit. Oh yeah, look at that. Tires. Average, average, average. Good, good, average. We'll get them. Sell them. Twin snorkel. Yes, I mean, we'll, we can try and pull it with the other one, and if it doesn't pull, we'll get this out. Well, I think one of them will do it. No stickers, sad face. Oh, one. Emotional support vehicle. Right.
Requirements, none. What are the rewards? So, recover the truck less than two times, you get a grand. Take less than 200 damage, get 500 bonus. And... Where's the mission? Oh, what was it? It's in the swamp, wasn't it? I think it's over here. Okay. We'll spawn them both over here. I love that. It just starts you off, just pointing towards, like, multiple cacti. They're all pointing towards flight recorders. Let me change vehicle. Uh, game? What are you doing? Like this one. Oh, this feels a bit nippy. The only thing with this one is, without the lift kit, it's really quite low down. Where am I going, by the way? I'm just follow my nose. I don't, I don't even know where I'm going. Um, go to the lake. Which is... I am going the right way. Kind of, going all the way around. I need better brakes. So that's one of the other trucks, isn't it? One we just configured. The winch. Here's the winch. After the winch is secured, turn the engine on. Okay. Uh, winch. Yeah, thanks, game. Uh, turn on engine of winch truck. Act. This truck is powerful. It just went yeet. Oh, rocks the nemesis. This is a powerhouse. It's like, a, it's like the truck and equivalent of a tugboat. shipping complete have we got any missions left on it four or five okay earthy vibes 
You need to conduct a seismic survey of the surrounding area, so you'll need a heavy truck with a seismic vibrator. Well, that long truck we just had can take that. I saw it. Equipment like this greatly increases the weight of the truck, so you'll make sure you've got all the necessary upgrades. And they're all both on the left, so we'll need to spawn on the west. So if we get the uh, step and stick a... Seismic on the back. Did I get the better engine? Yep. Okay, I think that's been upgraded about all we need. Um, I might also take a jack screw. And also, I'll chuck in the... The Lone Star. Chucking the load star just in case things go wrong. Deploy over here. It was easy because that truck's OP. <laughs> right. That's a bit late for extra fuel. I don't think we have to go great distances, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, seismic vibrator is used in geological expeditions. It shows the distance to points in the upper right of the screen. You determine the direction yourself. At a distance of less than 150 meters from the point, a sound signal is activated. After approaching the point less than 10 meters, the sound signal decreases and a command appears to start. Okay. Alright, where are we going first then? Oh, I see. It's the old, you guess the direction thing. That's one of them done. Looks like the old roots. Two sixty, two fifty. Front axle looks like it's going to get destroyed. Oh, come on! Why are drones suddenly banned? Wait, do I want to go that way or that way? Oh, God. Um, I guess we go that way if we think it's here, and we go this way if we think it's here. If it was down there, then if I went this way... If it was, if it was down there, it wouldn't change, but it is changing, which implies it's this way. I'm not eating this down the side of a hill. <laughs> What on earth? What on earth is that? It's a little bit terrifying. <laughs> Very creepy. And also, I'm not sure we can go this way.
getting closer, 90 meters. It's down there somewhere, 50 meters. Right, cacti. Right, I think we've just done that one. So we've done uh, Little Colorado, which is only five expeditions. And that has unlocked Free Roam. So if we jump back in on Free Roam a second. Explore the map. You're free to travel the map without any restrictions. No contracts, done all tasks. I think we've... Barring anything that might be lying around the map. We've pretty much done that one. Right, Arizona. 37. Uh, Conquest of the Frontier. Is that the first one? There's your first series contract. Ooh! The government lost a cargo near our field base. And ask to return it back. You can deliver it to the base and then we can figure out how to send it to the recipient. Terrain ravines, you need a scout truck with anchor and jack screw. We'll be paid 2-7 up front, 4-6 afterwards. And we need to bring Mike the Mechanic. Quite literally, we need Good Mike, morning, Mike Paul. the Mechanic. This looks a fun game. Just wait until Sammy and Sean are able to play. Some shenanigans would happen. Not sure it's that kind of game, Chris. I'm honest. It does do co-op, but... The absence of doing things together is there, you know? Right, so we need to bring a specialist. We'll get a heavy bull bar bumper upgrade for something. And we need to take less than 200 damage. So we'll take... Our Costco. We don't need the metal detector on the back. We need one of them and one of them. We'll drop that off for now. We've got some extra stuff on the front. I am tempted to bring... If we need to carry some stuff back, we'll need carrying capabilities. The Lodestar... Can Lodestar not take a flatbed of sorts? Rear. Oh, the pickup bed. It, ah. That's what you want. A pickup cargo bed variant I need to complete Lost Island brutal so this thing is has a lot of power but it has no carrying capability Lost Star was the fastest scout in SnowRunner well not on this That's the only carrying capacity one we have, really. Can't get the lift kit. We need to explore the region to find it. Okay, let's get Mike. Mike the mechanic. 
Complete waterless life. Wait, what? Oh, do we get him as a reward? We don't bring him, we get him as a reward. I think I misread that. Yeah, yeah, that's a reward. It unlocks Mike. Mike becomes our friend. What if you don't want Mike to be your friend? What have you got against Mike? You don't even know the guy. Started without the requirements. Like, I really don't see why you need to carry those two items anyway. Rally stage complete. We don't have many options for leaving the base. Let's have a look around. Whose idea was it to create a base at the top of this spiral hill? Start scanning. Uh-oh. Creepy totem pole again. It looks like a, one of the England cricket team, doesn't it? Like one of the batters. Trick soon. Thank you for 22 months. Oh, he's pointing the way out. He's, that's what he's doing. Right, do I need to get it in the box or in the green? success. This totem points to the safe path. Should be helpful. That's Mike. That's the plot twist. Stage complete. Uh, hey, Mr. DJ. Thank you for 44 months. That's a slope. Explore the area. I guess we're looking for that. Uh, that's not true. The game does have co-op. Well, I say it does have it. We'll have it. We have found an anchor that we were told to bring and a couple of dino bones. That's why we need carrying capacity. We're 
95% explored. Find a way up. So I have to come down here into that bit so that it'll no doubt tell me to go up there again. I knew it! Literally knew it. I, had to, <laughs> I was halfway up the hill and it's like, yeah, come back down there. Right, now go back up there. Amazing. One of the controls didn't freak me out. I'm going to get the Binox a bit. See what we can see. Uh, Exosphere, thank you for 117. Hmm. That's the base, isn't it? I think up there. Right, right there. Well, that's boring. That's like two lots of drops. These gaps are a real pain. More stuff we can't carry. Equipment box, various specialized tools and resources. Interesting. Okay, time to change to something with some carrying capacity. This truck is running on chip fat. On the local chipping.
That tree. Somebody needs to bring a chainsaw to that tree. You can change the tyre pressure while you're still driving down the side of a hill. It's brilliant. Come on. Up you get. That's weird, the way it just it doesn't show the inventory in the back. Like we're literally carrying these items. But there's nothing showing in the back. This truck needs a wider wheelbase, like a, a double tyre rear axle or something like that. It doesn't quite have the stability. I think it also needs a more powerful engine. the idea again but hopefully some visual indicators of stuff we can well there is like the weird thing is if I spawn in the base it will draw stuff in the back but when I've just picked stuff up though it didn't and I don't know if that's the bug or not hang on which was the way Normally see cargo under the tarpaulin in the bank.
wait a minute. What was our starting point? Deliver supplies. Equipment box. Delivered. 4,600 coin. Nice! Three lots of jack screw. Dinosaur femurs. Let's take it. Wonder if that's unlocked some stuff now. That's that one done. It's unlocked that one and that's it. Although there are these. They're all locked as well. Squatter's right. Requirements. Now we need a logistician. <laughs> what a word. We'd like to visit one of the remarkable places in the region. Unfortunately, it's remarkable not for the beauty, but for the contrary. It's a crashed, rusty plane that spoils local views and may further scare off tourists. We estimate the cost of the disposal, so it needs to be carefully examined. 2,900 up front. We get a bunch of rewards, though. We get a workshop module, a new operator, Akane Ishida, who's a specialist. Don't know what in. We get a fine-tuned gearbox for some truck. We unlock the western outpost, and if we recover less than three times, take less than 200 damage, and recognize at least three unknown points on the map, we'll get bonus cash. Right, so we better grab hold of uh, Connor. He's going to cost us $500. He's going to allow... Extra fuel and repair points in an outpost that we don't have. We can use our binoculars a bit further. <laughs> for some reason. And... Uphills and downhills get marked when we use the binocular or the drone. So, we, you know, we, when we go up a hill and it will say, You've discovered a new climb. Well, we can do that via the binocular. Which is just such an outstanding ability, Connor. You're incredible. Welcome to the team. It's great to have you. Now, what vehicles do we want? I guess we want to grab that. I would really like a better engine for it. That we can't have yet. We can take our... Scout with us. A camera trap records footage when the sensors detect movement. A GoPro. A light beacon used to mark interesting or safe routes and places. It's not asked us to use any of this stuff yet. Hydro monitoring tracks and analyzes bodies of water. A radio system. A radio communication is a set of equipment necessary to carry on communication via radio waves. Thanks. Portable meteor station. Weather tracking. And a portable rig. More compact version of a normal rig. <laughs> I love these descriptions are brilliant. <laughs> what you want to know is, what do I use this thing for? And what it actually tells you is just what it is. Like, that is like the literal definition of a radio station. Wheel, spare parts. Okay, we'll grab a jack screw. Uh, I might chuck some extra fuel in there. Nope, we're not allowed. Can't buy it. We don't have any sideboards, you see. Um. Play jack screw in the back of that. Yeah, like with this one, if you put fuel in the back like this, then if I can get a view on it, I literally can't tilt the camera. I'm not allowed. I can't show you. We have a new reinforced bumper. That one. Ooh. That's pretty snazzy, actually. Basically, put a spare wheel on the front for a grand. 
I've not managed to damage the wheels, though. It feels kind of pointless, but I quite like the look of the bumper. But then... That looks like a monster. That's insane. Like, you could literally face plant off the side of a cliff, and you would be okay with that thing. <laughs> now we can bounce when we go down the side of a cliff. Like, boink. <laughs> oh, that's brill. Fella, we need He's got a nose, it really does. I feel like I want to bring the step with us. Uh, we'll also take jack screw with this. We'll get rid of the seismic. Maybe just stick a flat board in the back of it for now. Okay, let's have a look. Squats are right, so we need a scout is the main thing. But I'm bringing the others in case we can pick stuff up. Uh, we've got one possible spawn point. Why is it always spawning in the wrong vehicle? some extra fuel. Nope, we can't put it in there. We don't have any spare gas tank capacity. That's annoying. New size friends, it's always good to see a fresh face around here. Why don't I show you around? It's easy to get lost if you're not familiar with the area. I've been here forever. Payment? 6,800? What? Yes, please. Okay, there's the catch. <laughs> Why don't I show you around by giving you a set of waypoints that are out of this world? Okay, sure. It's a lot of money. That's more than most of the things have been paying, to be honest. I reckon you got to go like that, like that. Why don't I show you around? And then she pulls up out, out a map and just goes, drive here, here, and here. There you go. I, I showed you around. Here you can already see your goal. Look through the your binoculars. There you go. He marked a climb. That's where we have to go next. We already did that climb. We already did that airdrop. Don't think we emptied that. Right, I'm just going to make a cup of tea, guys, because I'm super thirsty, so I shall BRB. Bye, goal. Right. So I think we have to head to that binocular thing and also try and do these other ones at the same time, if possible.
I think I'll head this way. We'll do that one later. Looks like a place where we can get up closer to the plane. What, do you want me to drive up there? Looks like a seaplane. Someone is living in the crash plane, but where does he get his food? <laughs> Very good question. I reckon Waitrose. Getaway Waweep Bay. Is that a tunnel? It looks like the symbol for a tunnel. into this thing. Uh, news are shooting wild. The Great Outdoors is shooting a wildlife series here, but they need a skilled operator to hang cameras in known habitats. 5,600. My life. Find an airdrop to resupply. Camera trap zero two. Well, there's two air, air drops down here. There's one there and one there. Right, these two we can do when we go over here. The first one we've already done, so we can ignore that for a second. Finding the the resupply. Implies that we have to go down the valley to here and then get that one. That one looks a little more tricky, doesn't it? I suppose there is a climb through there. Pays quite well, this one. But that's... Hang on, those... Wait a minute, that airdrop we already did. That doesn't like a tunnel. Yeah, a gateway to Wahib Bay.
I don't know where we're supposed to go for that one. Just says find an airdrop to resupply. Does that mean I can find these? Or I have to find a new one? Kind of like sounds like a new one, doesn't it? Expedition complete. Recognize at least three unknown points on the map. Why didn't I do that? We found climbing things, airdrops, uh, a tunnel. There were three unknown points. It's outrageous. I feel robbed. I just missed something. Aha, uh -huh. that looks like an outpost or something. Did you know what Twitch has dayed about that update is? What? Yeah, 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 Darren, they send me partner emails, mate. I, I know about it before most people do, because partners get told before they implement stuff. I know what they've done with the subs. South Point. There's another binocular point over there. Discovered a new airdrop. We have. <laughs> Do you mind telling me where it is? <laughs> uh. Oh, come on! What? Seriously? Here, have a drone. Can never use it, but I have one. Thanks. Where's the airdrop? Stop! That's an amazing handbrake. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, why not? Literally pressed the handbrake and then it just went. It's but a scratch. Look how beat up it is. <laughs> Look how bad that is. I bet you the engine first. See, luckily for me, I brought extra repair points on the front. We'll save those. That boxer repair tool on the front is pretty handy. How did you do that recovery? You need to bring with you a jack screw. I, I cover it all in the video. Right, I don't know where this airdrop is that we found that I can't see, but I need it. It says find one. I did find one, but I don't know where it is. I was here when it said you found one. Is that when it was up here, maybe? Possible, isn't it? Like up here, probably. Yeah, if you run exclamation mark first look, I cover all that stuff in the uh, video. 
all the different gadgets and stuff, the differences to SnowRunner, what you have to do in the game, etc. I can't get back up there anymore. It's like a one-way trip down here. I don't think so, Ozzable. That handbrake sucked. What's bugging me is why I can't use the drone. Having a laugh now, right? You've discovered a new airdrop. <laughs> Where is this new airdrop? So that's two airdrops that we've discovered that I can't even see. At this point, I wish I'd have brought my metal detector because it would have helped to discover them. It will show in the binoculars if we look at it. But therein lies the problem. I mean, we could come back on a different expedition with a reconfigured Land Rover that has a metal detector. But let's, let's um, have a look around. Do you like electric trains, Chris? This one up here, then. If any more joy. I think the game's lying. Something weird going on there. 
this is locked. Show details. This patch is seem to be blocked for now. This is part of Arizona region. Okay. So that does that imply we're supposed to use the binoculars here? South Point. That's the next waypoint on the map. Install a rangefinder. This feels like it's supposed to be a mission, or maybe it's the outpost that we get. It did mention a reward of an outpost. Thank you, Michael. This looks like very tricky. If you, anything bigger than a scout will struggle to get through here. Sony, the better engine. Yeah, I think so. It's probably a passageway. I've actually found an airdrop this time. A bridge? It doesn't look like a bridge to me. Making the noise as if there's something there. I think it. I think it's that. Another bridge. And break trust issues. Really? Did you notice the way I parked sideways? <laughs> 
one's bitten. Okay, that's some interesting scenery right there. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. Wait, are those birds just hovering? What are they? Why is everything frozen? clue how you get over here. I think the, the bridge mission is probably the only way on that side. I don't think we've found this yet. Find an airdrop to resupply. Maybe it's worth having a look over here. vehicles. Yeah, it costs money though, doesn't it? Funnily enough, if you go to a manufacturer and say, I'd love to put your vehicle in my game that I'm selling to make money, they'll say to you, cool, how much are you going to pay us? <laughs> That's literally what they say. I presume the mod menu... Um, there are mods, there is mod support in the game, but when it will be enabled, I don't know. They did make it happen with some of them. Um, Remains to be seen if they do the same. Uh, that's entirely not handy. I mean, you'll get the Vine mods anyway. What I want to know is, can they take a vehicle out of SnowRunner, like a mod vehicle, and drop it straight into Expeditions? Like, is it literally the same thing? Or will they have to make modifications because if that was the case there's a ton of vehicles that can just instantly port over from SnowRunner well 
Well, there's a thing on the main menu that's got for expeditions. I don't think we can get back this way, actually, thinking about it. Like, you've got Little Colorado, then this map, then Carpathian, and then it says mod map or something. can get up at all. It's brutal terrain. Oh my god. This has got pain written all over it. This is where I fell off before with the handbrake. Not enough power. Jeez, just no power at all. Started playing up front things. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Early access games are the same, aren't they? But that was the whole premise of early access, anyway. Like, you was taking a risk. It wasn't guaranteed that you'd end up with something that you wanted. Like, why can't you get up this stupid slope? What is wrong with you? Still just not used to these controls at all. Snow runner muscle memory is burned in. Get over that middle bit. fuel shortly anyway. Do you know what? I'm beginning to think that you just can't get like, once you drop down this side of the map, you can't get back up. Unless you have to go all the way around that valley, maybe. Proper nasty terrain. Don't think we've got any chance of getting up this. But we shall see.
solitary tree comes to the rescue. I still can't see any airdrops that it's talking about. Thank you for 114. And did Topita? Thank you for 29. Thank you for 91, Henry. By the way, and serotonin. Thanks for 13. What? You can reset? What? You've not watched my video? What? Almost out of fuel, but at least we've done some good exploration around it and found out how ridiculous the terrain is. Aha! Is that an airdrop? Wait, what? Oh, thought I saw something there. Apparently not. See, is it me, or is just above the top of the truck, it just looks like there's some stuff just scattered there, and I thought that was an airdrop. And then when I get into the binoculars, it's just rocks. <laughs> No drop to our left, but we know about that one. end that expedition there's still plenty to do in here yeah so look there's a mods region here which you click and it says proving grounds map area for modification testing oh maybe if you're a mod developer you can go and test it on the right fallen from heaven floss one of our drones somewhere in the tourist area it's flight recorder may contain important information that should not fall into the wrong hands. Really? Investigate the suspected drone crash sites and recover and deliver the, re the flight recorder. Uh, huh. One second, I need to send a text. Right, we need a specialist that we unlocked. That was that Japanese lady, I think. We get paid a thousand up front and six and a half thousand afterwards. The rewards are we unlock the specialist, Jaeger specialist. He will basically help you to get drunk. Uh, Sensei, thank you for 27 months. Been watching Red Dead 2 over Squirrel Plus. Wow, that was a while ago. <laughs> 
Uh, we'll get the south outpost, the big reinforced bumper. Uh, we need to take less than 200 damage. Don't flip the car more than five times. Recognize at least five unknown points in the map. That's going to be difficult because we've recognized a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, we need to take a scout and an operator. Sec. Right, Scout, we need the metal ore detector. We need a specialist. Let's grab that. Get the operator first. Operator gives us 200 meter drone range. Oh, we can actually use the drones, maybe. That would be nice. Oh. 20 meter drone heights, that brings up to 50. And um, plus 50 meters partial Scout, whatever that means. Uh, marks airdrops with a binocular, which you can already do anyway. Six hundred dollars. Yikes. A cane broke into the nature vlogging scene in Japan where she's known for her creative and in-depth reviews of hiking trails and national parks. She recently decided to take that success abroad with a new international series which will take her hiking and camping in different country every year. How exciting. No, I don't think six hundred dollars is worth it, but we don't have a choice because we it's a requirement. The metal detector on the roof. Um, I really need some more fuel, actually, on this thing. Can we do... Roof. Mm. Composite. Side-mounted rack. There we go. Side-mounted rack. 1,500. Oh, we can only put spare parts in it. Are you serious? Oh, no. Hang on. That's that one. Ah, right, yeah. Fuel. Fuel. Hey! Wicked. Did that put one on both sides? That feels very asymmetric. Uh, young case, everyone's favourite squirrel is out and about. Thank you, sir. Um, why can't we put a side-mounted rack on the other side? Side-mounted rack. I can't see an option to... Put it on that side. Emergency reserve medium. Increased emergency supply of fuel and spare parts that allows you to find a way out in more difficult situations. Where does that go? Five grand? Five grand? Oh, we can get the better engine. Oh, yes. Offers impressive power output while sacrificing strength and fuel efficiency. So it goes from goes from A plus to A. But it gets a massive boost in power. It's gotta be worth it.
All lower gears would be nice, but five grand. Well, it, no, it won't sound any better. I, I can almost guarantee that. I really want that, but I'm conscious of how much money we're spending. Okay. Right, so that's the minimum we need. Question is, I think we need to bring something which can carry stuff. Okay, we've met the requirements. We do actually have an outpost now. We have that one and that one. So we did unlock that. However, I think the mission is around here. Spawn them both there. Danny, thank you for 57 months, sir. I swear it always puts you in the wrong vehicle. Find the descent from the top. Oh, I've spawned in the wrong place. So something that way. There's many things that way. Can you help me with this awkward situation? I'll pay you $4,900. Okay. What do I have to do? Deliver a fallen truck. Where is it? Wait, what? Where's the fallen truck? Is that it? I'm going to guess that's it. Clear as mud, that. Well, this engine is a bit more sporty. It's got a bit more umph to it.
The steep descent ahead, be careful. Don't rush. <laughs> yeah. See very much going on. Exactly. Send it. <laughs> Discover a slope in the ground. Have a hundred dollars. Sam Blackshaw, thank you for 77. Oh, I tell you, that engine is such a game changer. Careful ahead, there's another one ahead. What, this one here? It's a slope worth paying money for. That's what it is. Gearbox, let's go. Hmm. I'm not sure where the other binocular waypoint was. Okay, wants us to go there. I'll just keep going straight ahead then. Actually, I can use the drone now, can't I? No, not the metal detector. It keeps rearranging everything in the circle, so you get used to going, oh, I'll bring this up and then I'll go bottom right, and that's where it is. No, because every time, if you have more or fewer gadgets, the order changes, so you can't muscle memory what you want. And it's really annoying. You have to like literally search for it every time. Like it's there now. Sometimes it's here. Might be down here. Uh, that looks like an airdrop. Trouble is, if you go down there, you can't easily get back up. At least we got our drone license back. That's a good thing. Unfortunate trip. As you've noticed, hill riding is not my best skill. I hope you can help me in this awkward situation. <laughs> um, yeah. Actually, the main expedition has not completed yet. We've got to explore this area. There's still something missing around here, according to that.
Do you reckon if we get this back on its feet, it'll unlock it? Oh, my God. That doesn't look good. Let's move. Like a glove, it was never in doubt. I'm with our new upgraded engine, we may be able to pull this thing. I'm not sure. To that, we we'll have to bring the lodestone. That looks really battered. Okay. Exploring four out here. I'm being attacked by a tree. Quite literally being attacked by a tree. Have you ever seen a tree do this? See, I wanted to be tracking this, and I can't... Like, what do I click for it to track it? Go to the next climb. So there's a climb there, a climb here, and then a yellow area here that it says explore the area. Which I am doing, but... I'm not sure what I'm looking for. And I don't know if that yellow indicator is actually coming from this. It wants me to drag that to there, so I don't think it is, because it only highlights when I do that. So it is from there. Maybe I need to go up here or something. It's just, again, clear as mud. We are looking for a fallen drone. The question is, what are we actually looking for? Is it going to show it as an icon, or do we have to physically see it? Like, do we have to be using our drone to see it? Do we have to be using binoculars to see it? Is that it? Scan the crash site with a drone. But we can see it. Is it wants to go to the blue thing? Uh, thank you for 39 months, James. I think maybe we have to be in the blue square and then do it. is this I 
Why am I like vertically locked? This is so weird. Drone is too far. Military drone, you see? That's what it is. Classified stuff. Looks like there's another part of the crash drone nearby. We should ride around the area and look around. Oh no, because I know where it is. It's there. I've already seen it. It's a massive piece on the hill. I'm sure you can get up there though. Yeah, you can if you go that way. Oh, we have to go to the blue box. It's a bit on rails, isn't it? Like, you can't just scan stuff. You have to go into a specific box and scan stuff. The fact that I've already looked at this drone, the game's just completely oblivious to. <laughs> okay, game. We'll do it your way. I swear, right, if I get up here and it says to me, you need to go down there and sit in that box and then come back up here. Flight recorder. And where does the flight recorder need to go to? Oh, it needs to go there where the truck goes. How convenient. How very convenient. a little bit steep. For science. Are you, are you seriously telling me that I just took no damage? No damage from that. I've been attacked by twigs, tiny stones, tree branches. You name it. And I've taken damage. I face plant off the end of a cliff and I take no damage. What? Right, the question is can we get attached without rolling into that thing? <sighs> Stop! Alright, turn the engine on. 
Okay, again. Turn the engine on. Sounds like a bag of nails. Let's go. Oh, don't go in there. Don't, don't go down there. Come this way. Come on. That's it. I could do some. Would love to stay around for the stream, but unfortunately you are distracting me from my <laughs> uni coursework due next Friday, Scrove. Enjoy F1 this weekend, Scrove. Yeah, can't wait for the F1. Thank you, Scotty. Hope you get your coursework done. Right, go that way a bit, and then turn this way. Go past the rock. Come on. There we go. Even with this strong engine, it's struggling with this thing. The Lodestar just nailed this. Or is it going misty? I've never seen it do that. Right, I was checking on the right way. So I think we want to go that way. I don't know. We've got to pick our route through this bit. Maybe like that? I think that thing got its engine turned on. That is a bit of a gap.
I don't know if that's even going to fit through there, to be honest. Well, the engine was on pups, but it turned off because I disconnected the winch. But frankly, I don't think it's going to make much difference. I need to command that thing to go backwards a bit. No, no, it turned off because I disconnected the winch like that. If I disconnect the winch and then reconnect it, I have to turn the engine back on. I disconnected it when I went over this bit. Need the other one, really, don't I? Yeah, but it, it's not doing that snake pit. It does do that, but it isn't doing that. I don't know why. Four thousand to put that truck there. Yikes! I should have brought the load star. What I should do, I should bring a scout, a load star, and this because that way you've got carrying, towing, and scouting capability. I don't think this has got necessarily more power than the scout, but it can certainly put it down. It's got more more tires. Could bring it up that slope there and see the way of doing it. I swear they put that tree in the perfect place. I like the way you change vehicles though. It just feels like a backward step to me.
Thank you, WH. Thanks for 72. Happy anniversary, son. Part this up here. We need this to complete the actual expedition thing because he's got the part. Let's see if we can get any more traction with this. This hole, why we do a five point turn. left. The actual, the engine on the other truck's just not running at all. going to get defeated by a tree. The devs are scumbags. So is they. They know exactly what they are doing. You can almost feel them going, yeah, so when they come through here, so I reckon a tree just about there will really, really irritate them. And they're right. Play this game, firefighter. I, I don't know if he's got the patience. If I'm honest, <laughs> what do you say, pups? You don't rage, mate. You, you just get passionate. We understand. It's a fine line between rage and passion. I understand. that it cost me four grand to relocate this vehicle over here so that we could do a mission that paid six but hey ho maybe it will unlock this vehicle for us to use it 
Because it is the Scooby Doo truck, isn't it? Oh, we only got four nine, so basically we hardly made a profit on that at all. Good times. Donny. Problem with this metal detector is trees love grabbing hold of it. Oh, if you loved exploration, Casey, this would be right up your street. Expedition complete. Recognize at least five unknown points. Absolute rubbish. I kind of feel like that is a totally unfair bonus. Because a lot of the, a lot of those points that I've unlocked, I did it on previous expedition just by being thorough and going to high places and scoping around with the binoculars. And if you do that, you then get an expedition later on that will pay you a bonus if you do it. And you don't know. So you, it's just an unfair thing. Anyway, we're up overall. Let's go back to the HQ. Three out of 37, what's next? Last one in the Arizona government series by the look of it. So for this one, if you look at it, there are three spawn points if you like and we want to spawn at the southern one by the look of it uh, there's a unique building in this region it was built a long time ago and is now gradually falling apart we want to preserve it as long as possible and make it a tourist attraction let's start by monitoring the weather in more detail so that we have time to react well this is arizona let me tell you what the weather's going to be like it's going to be hot in the day and then pretty cold at night and very dry mostly there you go The mechanic, uh, we need two portable meteor stations. We need an off-road vehicle. And our bonuses will be, we'll unlock the hydrologist. We'll unlock a warehouse module, which allows us to store eight things. We'll get an upgrade reserve medium for miscellaneous vehicles. Sorry, emergency reserve medium, which is basically extra supplies. We'll unlock the gateway to Coconino. We need to take less than 100 damage. Jeez. <laughs> take less than 50 from a tire swap and recognize at least one unknown point in the map. 100 damage? That's brutal. You can get that by accident. Hate that. Press the B key and you end up resetting. Right, we need a an off-road vehicle, which I think that's nice. The load star I'm gonna grab just so we've got some pulling power. If we should need it. I'm not gonna bother with a jack screw. We're going to grab that, and I think I'll leave the scanner on the back. Yeah. Oh, you do? I mean, one rock could easily take that kind of damage. And then we need the thing that has the meteor. Let me get the mechanic, actually. So Mike the mechanic gives a plus five supply limit to the anchor, which is nice. Plus he doubles the setup radius, so he's really handy. And 
Your truck does 30% less damage except the wheels. He could, Mike can't protect wheels, okay? He's like, look, I can help you with the rest of your truck, but the wheels, they're just not my thing. A mountaineering instructor from Utah, Mike also works part-time as a mechanic to save him enough money for the truck of his dreams. If you can't solve a problem with a good winch, you just need a longer cable, says Mike the mechanic. Wasn't he a singer as well? I'm sure he was a singer. Right then. Well, I think... The SC... So that's also classed as an off-roader. We could... Depends if we, if we think we're going to have to go... Weird places. Let's have a look. We need two of them, don't we? Two of them and a jack screw, I think. Let's have a look at his engine. Can't upgrade his engine. We've got the better gearbox. Got the better off-road tires. Now, according to Mike's theory, we just need a longer winch. But there's seven grand and I don't want to spend seven grand. So, we'll try that. We could also chuck this in. Maybe. If we get rid of the modular platform. Go to the flatbed. We'll take that, but I'm not sure we're going to use it. Okay, requirements met, yes. And we want to deploy on the southern outpost, not the west. These are going to south and these are going to west. That's interesting. Oh, God, which one do we want? That's the base. That's the west. I, Is it this one or is it this one? Oh my god. Are you sure it's south? It had them laid out differently. I remember seeing two at the top and one at the bottom. And this has got like two at the bottom and one at the top. Why can't you see a picture of the, like, the map that it showed you, the icon, where you can see where you need to go <laughs> before you spawn? You think it's rotated 90 degrees? Hang on. Well, it would be like that then, wouldn't it? So it would be this one. It would be the west outpost we want. What do you mean, no, the other way? Well, you reckon it was that way? Do you think it was that? I'm not sure I agree. Makes sense for the names. I suppose you're right. Yeah, what we could do is we could put that guy... Actually, he doesn't have the cargo anyway. Oh, brutal. Okay. 
You put the scouts on the south. No. So hang on, I have to tell him to go there so that I can then say to this guy, go, no. Yeah, so he's now south. No, you stupid game. He's now south. He's now west. And the guy who has the stuff on board, he needs to be south as well, which means I need to move him to here. We can put him to there. Literally the worst interface ever. Right. He's now south, which is the gadget on it. And he's south. And the other two are west. Brutal. Echolox, thank you for almost VIP. 99 months. You are close, mate. You are very close. Yo, hell, thank you for 30 months. And Cat Monkey, thank you for 10. This does not look right at all. But I think it's just spawned me in the wrong vehicle, and it always does this. I need to be in the tusk. It's more like it. Man, this game winds you up, doesn't it? Right. Get closer to the tower. Okay, we can do that. That's what Frodo did. You see how it's showing the cargo on the back? New objective. Uh, unsuccessful geoanalysis. Employee's car fell off a cliff because he forgot to put on the handbrake. I've never done that. What kind of an idiot would do that? Although, technically speaking, I did put on the handbrake, but I still went off the cliff anyway. Help us to evacuate the car to a flat surface. Okay, it's a rescue mission. We'll do that later. Uh, Kalzerman, I have a lovely first look video that you might want to watch. Ten minutes of your time. And hopefully it will answer most of the questions that I frankly can't bother explaining again. <laughs> Ooh, didn't see that. Well, there's nine of that hundred damage. It's like a fork in the road. It's up to you where you go. Okay. Oh, there's some ruins up here. Looks like an old windmill. Which is interesting, because I don't think you could grow crop around here. A slow hider. You've discovered a new climb. You can't get up it, but you've discovered one. Do you know what? That that wheel on the front saved us a lot of damage, I reckon. Our little nose. <laughs> it's so underpowered, this. I really can't wait to get a better engine. Not 
Just another developer joke, Ralph and I reckon. Turn that off. Whoa. Speedy. Speedy? What's going on here? Very speedy. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Despite the fact this tower is broken, it's still majestic and beautiful. It's great. I just... I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, though. It is what it is. Yeah, they wanted to make sure you had a good look at that wonderful asset they created. Right. Deliver supplies. You spin me right round. There we go. Woo! And the weather today, Scotcho! Oh, they didn't show you the well. Like, this, the camera didn't pan over that amazing asset. get death lock warnings like you do in SnowRunner. Like it doesn't care the fact that we're all wheel driving and diff locking and stuff. It doesn't matter. I've never seen it pop up with a Instead it takes damage because my car protects us from tire damage if you remember. And if we deflate our tires and drive too quickly we take damage. They sure want this installed in the most random place ever. Well, we got two of them. Get rewards, thank you very much. We've unlocked the gateway to Coconino. Right, I'm just gonna continue. Uh, and we're gonna try and see. Is there any other things that we can do? That's not a convenient one. Ancient knowledge, river crossing. Ah, uh, we have got vehicles near that though. That's the one that needs pulling out, isn't it? Oh, hang on. What is this? We need you to perform a feasibility study in the region, specifically on river crossings without consistency. Install a first hydro monitoring system. What? How do we do that? I can't track that yet. Geological survey. Install a rangefinder. Abandoned equipment. 
We're in need of an engineer who can fix our drill and then someone to deploy it so that we can take core supplies from nearby rocky areas. And there's that one, which is a million miles away. Then there's this task that we've not done yet. There's that one. Deliver the fallen truck. And then there's that one. Find an airdrop to resupply, which is still bugging me. I... I genuinely don't know. Do we just need to drive to that or something? Probably do. We're in the wrong place to do them. Let's try doing... Deliver the fallen truck. And we've got something back at base here, haven't we? That one. That's not going to do it, though. No, no way, Ralton. So, is that the truck there, then? Or is that our other one? That's our other truck. Where's the fallen truck? Do we have to find it or something? Hang on. Press Y to restart. I have no idea where this truck is. It fell off a cliff. Do we have to find it? Install a first whatever should be the first. Hey, is that it? River crossings, something else. So it fell off a cliff and we're going to have to find it, basically. What's the vehicle to the far west? I mean this. Ball and truck. I guess that would be that then. In which case, I'm going to spawn in the Lodestar. Is it only delivering here? Are you serious? Guessing we want to go that way. This truck's a little bit wide for that gap. Really, game? Do you have to keep panning me over here? Get rid of that. Whoa, that's cool. That's got GTA motorbike jump point written all over it. Now, I'm thinking that 
We are not going over there anytime soon. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that bridge needs to happen. And then you can get there. And I don't know how we make that bridge happen. That's pretty wicked. Unsuccessful geoanalysis. Right, so we're not doing that. Is there anything else we can do? Stop tracking that. Shoot in the wild. We need to spawn something at the main base so we can try that one again. New friends, what's that? Oh, that's the visit the area stuff, isn't it? Done that, we've done that. We haven't done that. Again, we need to spawn at the base for that. Are there any airdrops nearby to maybe bridge parts in? I actually don't know. I don't know how that works yet. We need to go down to the bridge and find out. In fact, can we drive down there? Let's go down. If we get down to the bridge and sit on that yellow box, maybe it'll tell us what we need to do. Terrain looks amazing. Yeah. Even if I go down there. Can you even get through that way? I don't think so. There's just like a cliff. There's no way you're coming out of that. Nah, you, it, there's no point. I can't get up there. then begs the question, how do you get... Oh, hang on, you got to go that way. What's that vehicle here? We've got the step down, though. Work our way was here earlier, wasn't we? I don't know. I think there's potentially a way through there. Happy weekend, Adobe. as well. If I can get over 
there, pubs. The next five or ten minutes will be good. We'll see. I've already finished the expedition, so I can go back to the uh, main menu. Yeah, but Adobe, the qualification is later, in a few hours. Don't forget that. forward to quality because it's going to answer questions about who really is quick and who's just uh, you know running at 95% power right now all the, all the mind games that are being played on the train like oh we're not that quick this season we'll find out when we get to the corner Climbable. Just get up this bit, we'll be, we'll be golden. But there's no tree here. Oh, you scumbag game. just a bad combination of turning circle. Let's try coming up that man.
you scumbag. It looks like it should be doable, but the tires just keep slipping. It's really annoying. Yeah, perfect. One and a half barrel rolls. Why not? Oh, well, I tried. I think if we had to scout or whatever with an anchor, we can get up there. But I really want to get to here and figure out what it is we need. Anyway, I'm going to have to stop there, guys. Um, I will be back tomorrow at the earlier time of 10 a.m. So the plan for tomorrow is I'll be streaming from 10 till just before 3 o'clock when the F1 starts. And then I'll be back after the F1 till about 9. And then Sunday morning I'm out, and then Sunday afternoon I'm streaming. What did I say for Sunday? Uh, Sunday was 2 o'clock. So, yeah. so that is it from me enjoy the rest of your Friday what are you doing and I should be back early tomorrow morning at 10am uh, so I hope to see you then enjoy your evening take these guys love you all good night